in the late 1800s when the Texas Southwestern Cattle Raisers were established underneath that oak tree in Graham, Texas. The Chisholm Trail was coming to an end with the expansion of the rail system. Ranches were being established and bob wire had led to fencing. And during this time, there's a tremendous amount of problems with cattle theft. Now today, we have 40 special rangers scattered throughout Texas and Oklahoma. They're licensed peace officers. They investigate approximately 1,000 cases a year and recover between five and six million dollars worth of stolen cattle, horses, saddles, trailers, four-wheelers, guns, everything else thieves will take. What we see in cattle theft is primarily a crime of opportunity. It's a cash crop. In other words, if you steal a CB radio out of a truck and you take it to the pawn shop, you only get 10 cents on the dollar. If you steal a cow and bring it to the sale, you're going to get full market value what that cow is worth that day. Special Ranger's job really hadn't changed since the innovation in 1877. We still, our primary job is working cattle theft and ranch related crimes. We oversee 70 plus cattle markets in the state of Texas. In Texas, you can't have a public livestock auction or cattle sale without one of the Texas Southwestern cattle raisers, brand inspectors or market inspectors being on location to inspect the cattle. And what our market inspectors do is they document every head of cattle that come through the sale barn. They mark them by sex, brands, color, whether they have horns or not, whether they're heifers, steers, bulls. Uh, that's a Texas Longhorn. And that's, uh, those horns are identification for her. If she would be stolen, we could identify her with those horns. So I have to mark that down and turn that into Fort Worth to our association. Probably gonna have 2,600 head today. Uh, cows, caves, all sizes. I'm here inspecting cattle to see, get earmarks and brands off those cattle and possibly if they are stolen. And we turn all that into a database in, in Fort Worth at our home office. Our main consigners at most of our auction barns in the state of Texas are small producers, 20, 25 head or less. So it's very important to the community for these small producers, which is important to the industry, to be able to market their cattle and get a fair market value on that day what those cattle are worth nationwide. What's interesting about our special rangers, even though they're licensed peace officers, not one penny of taxpayer dollars go to pay for their salaries. Their salaries are paid with association membership dues. People have often asked, why does the Texas Southwestern Cattle Raisers Association get to have their own private law enforcement? It's because we've been around since 1877.